What is up guys welcome back to the channel my name is ryan your diy guy if you're new here thanks for hopping on make sure you comment down below that you've subscribed and we'll definitely say hi and of course hit that notification bell so you get notified first when we post brand new videos like these and of course go ahead and follow us on our instagram page where you'll get vip access upfront before YouTube. Now today we're going to be installing a trendy wooden barn door on a bathroom application and it is so super simple. It comes in a full DIY kit straight from our supplier Gelma and we'll leave links down in the description box so you can go and check it out yourself. But without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Coming up next on Nail and Screw. Here's a look at the barn door system and it comes with a soft close feature which is fantastic because the last thing you want to be doing is slamming your door wide open or shut. Now this comes from our awesome supplier Gelmar. They are not a sponsor as yet but if you're watching, I mean, you know, give us a shout. <laughs> Their prices are fantastic and so is their quality, so I definitely recommend them. Now the door width is for a single door fitting and it's a two meter long rail as you see over here. And of course the door width is less than a meter. Now typical doors are about 800 odd millimeters, so this is perfect and pretty standard door thickness at 45 millimeters. However, the load capacity is only 50 kilograms. So if you're using a solid door, you may need to consider a heavier duty type of application, but this is great for a hollow core door, which is what we're using. Let's go ahead and unbox and see what's inside. The key to success for this DIY is definitely understanding all of the parts that you've got at your disposal so you don't have any parts left over. Now I've got the barn door rails here, they come in two separate pieces, sometimes you do get them in full length strips and you can see the soft close mechanism underneath. The first grey piece is where the first initial point of contact engages the soft close mechanism and that white rubber eventually activates and cushions it before coming to its final position. But the first step is to measure up and transfer those markings onto the wall. Once you've read the instructions and you've got a good idea in terms of the measurements, then go ahead and transfer those dimensions onto the wall, but make sure to use a spirit level so your door doesn't slide open or close on its own. Once that's in place then, lift up your rails again and position where you'll be drilling your holes for your bolts to secure the rails to. In the kit you'll find these little feet which extend your rail off of the wall so that your door has clearance to move left and right and then you can offer up your rail in front of that and pop your bolt through and simply fasten hand tight using a ratchet spanner or just an ordinary spanner if you've got that at your disposal. Hand tight should be good enough so long as the rail doesn't come off, well your door won't come off either. And then we can move on to go ahead and fasten our roller door hangers which is the interesting part. But before that, let's talk about the sponsor for today's episode. Our friends over at Wood Profits have a fantastic opportunity. If you're like us and you love woodworking, but your hobby is burning a hole in your wallet, well, maybe it's time to turn your passion into a profit because you can discover the step-by-step -step guide to launching your own woodworking business from home with minimal capital. So go ahead, click the link down in the description box below. Go tell them we sent you. But now let's get back to the video. We painted the door off camera in the color that the homeowner absolutely loved and I think it turned out quite nicely apart from a few uh, blessings, let's call it that, uh, but we'll talk about that a bit later. 
and we've laid the door up against the wall and of course it needs to lift up a few millimeters in order to reside in its final place and clear when it moves left to right but now we can go ahead and measure out where we're going to drill our pilot holes for our door hangers the first one is at four centimeters and the second one is at about 13 centimeters down and that lines up quite nicely and we've aligned them about five centimeters inwards on either side just so that they're evenly spaced and look good and then you offer the roller door hanger up make sure that your markings are on the money and you can then mark out and go ahead and drill and this is an important step because you want to make sure it's accurate because these holes will be permanent and of course we're following our instructions Once both roller door hangers are securely fastened in place, we can take the entire door and place it on the rail. Now we can go ahead and add all of our trim accessories which will keep the door in place. The first being the bump stops at the top of the door. Make sure they're at the right height to engage your soft close mechanism. And the second being our bump stops on the end of the rail. This just ensures that your door doesn't fall off and create a disaster. And finally, also on the floor, the trim guide which is very important to keep the door from banging against the wall and scraping it up. And the final cherry on the cake is to choose the perfect door handle. The homeowner went for this classic hammered finish door handle which finishes off the entire project quite beautifully if I must say so myself. And that's it. Now you can sit back and enjoy your masterpiece. Well, that's a wrap on another trendy DIY video. I hope you loved it as much as we did and found a ton of value. If you did, please go and smash that thumbs up button. It helps us grow tremendously. Of course, be subscribed and hit that notification bell so you get notified first when we post a new video. Catch us over on Instagram where you'll get VIP access to all of this content upfront before YouTube. But until next time, we'll see you on Nail and Screw.